Hello, I'm Luke Ford and my website is lukeford.net and holding in my hands the best selling of all my self-published books. Uh, this is The Producers, Profiles and Frustration. Sold about 235 copies, I believe. And uh, here's, the, here's the story on this book. When I moved to Los Angeles in uh, 1994, I somehow got it into my head to pursue acting, which I pursued for about a year took a lot of seminars about how to succeed as an actor and some of those seminars said the producers are the key and uh, I felt then as an actor that if I could only get in the door with some of these producers and have them see my talent then, then that would help me become a working actor or, and I'd succeed well I never got in the door as a reporter as a actor but when I came back uh, years later and decided to write a book on producers I interviewed about 160 of them. I put in here my best 70 interviews and uh, there's no other book like it. There's no other comprehensive look at uh, mainly movie producers. There are also some uh, television producers and uh, it's gotten some good reviews from uh, people who, who've read it and uh, wow it was a lot of work. I just spent a year going around mainly in uh, 2002 interviewing producers. Uh, Roger Jacobs writes on Amazon.com, Roger is a friend of mine, full disclosure. What is a producer exactly? In Hollywood most people tell you that the term has various definitions, but in Luke Ford's massive exploration, nearly 70 interviews with film and television producers, some whose names you may know, others who have been relegated to obscurity, what emerges, emerges is a portrait of the producer as artist. Don Phillips' tale of the making of the groundbreaking small film Melvin and Howard is worth the cover price alone. Did you know that Jack Nicholson and Mike Nichols were nearly attached to the picture? Phillips didn't want to wait a year for Jack's availability. Elvis Presley was next considered for the role of Melvin Dumar. Elvis was on his last leg, Phillips tells Ford. He was fat and jowly and passed out. Elvis agreed in June 1977 to do the film after he finished his last concert tour. Six weeks later, the legend was dead. Among the other notable names in the book, there are many TV wizards Stephen J. Cannell, God bless the Rockford Files, Jay Bernstein, the late Jay Bernstein, and a particularly touching interview with the late Edgar J. Sherrick, creator of ABC's Wide World of Sports. And uh, Roger Jacobs writes, I've known Luke Ford in both a personal and professional capacity for almost seven years now. Often I've been one of his biggest detractors. The producer's profiles and frustration is a piece of work that I would never have thought an autodidact like Luke capable of, namely a book that is a must-read for anyone contemplating a career in the entertainment industry, and more importantly, the unknowing millions who believe that producers are nothing more or less than Hollywood fat cats with a cigar in one cheek and a bikini-clad babe in their lap. The interviews in this book prove that in the Hollywood food chain, producers are too often overlooked as, dare I say it, Fountains of Creativity. So those are the producers. Profiles and Frustration. And uh, Jeffrey Wells, uh, veteran entertainment journalist, uh, says there's a kind of low-key genius in this book. So check it out, The Producers, Profiles and Frustration. I'm Luke Ford, my website, lukeford.net.